Good morning, uh, and I say good morning to you this beautiful morning. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice, and you also will rejoice and be glad in it. I'm sure you had a wonderful weekend and a fantastic um, service, um, worship service yesterday. And those of you who had your events on Saturday, I'm sure it was a blissful one. And those of you who encountered traffic on Friday, <laughs> I'm sure you, you enjoyed yourself and missed all that happened. And those of you that water overflowed and came into your dwelling places, and those of you that water overflowed and came into your offices and made some adjustments to your property and documents, uh, I'm sure you are coping up with it and this morning we're going to be looking at be thankful yes be thankful you may ask me why are you saying i should be thankful despite all of the things that have happened to me because in this present time a lot of things are happening a lot of challenges are on people there is a whole lot of pressure and naturally you would never want to have any reason to give thanks but this morning i'm telling you i'm commanding your morning be thankful. Be thankful. Once again, I say be thankful. Why should you be thankful? You just walked into the studio this morning and my friend AZ, when I told him this is the topic I'm dealing with, he just said, be thankful so that your tank will be full. <laughs> and I grabbed that message. Very funny, but then it has something very, very important and impactful. If you give thanks, if you are thankful, your thing your tank will be full if you are thankful your tank will be full and then i'm going to just give us a very short um story from the bible where jesus uh, met um, 10 lepers met with jesus on the way and they 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 asked him to cure them of their leprosy and in the tradition of those times and um, once you are healed you, you once you are cleansed or you are healed you go to the priest to show yourself once the priest at, uh, ascertains that oh yes this person is actually clean then you are now declared clean and so jesus told them go and um, show yourself to the uh, to the priest but then out of 10 of them one of them came back to jesus and said thank you and guess what Jesus said? He said, you are made whole. Now, what's the difference between being healed and being made whole? Being healed is that that thing is taken care of at that particular point in time. Being healed is that, oh, I have a headache. And they say, be healed. And then the headache is gone. It might come back tomorrow. It might come back another day. It might come back sometime later. Yes, and then you run back again to the source. But when you are being made whole, come on, it is forever and ever and ever settled. And so what was the difference between those nine other people and this other guy? He was thankful. He came back to say thank you to Jesus. And from being healed, he was made whole. I don't know what the situation you are facing is this morning. But then I challenge you to be thankful so that your tank will be full. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16 to, 7, um, to 18 says, Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God um, for you in Christ Jesus. He didn't say give thanks in some circumstances. He didn't say give thanks when things are going on well. He didn't say give thanks when your bank account is full. He didn't say give thanks when you have enough food to eat. He said in all circumstances. Give thanks whether you are still held on traffic and then you are under pressure that you might go late this morning to the office. Give thanks. There are some persons that desire to go to work this morning but they are in the dead, in the, they are in the cemetery. Some other persons desire to celebrate their birthdays later on in the year, but they are gone. But you are still alive. The fact that you are alive is enough reason for you to give thanks. Whether you have what to eat or what to wear, the fact that you are listening to me right now, 
is a testimony enough for you to be thankful. Be thankful in all situations. The wind took away the roof of your house. Be thankful that you are still alive. The water, the flood came and destroyed property in your house. Be thankful that your life was spared. Be thankful in every situation. And that is why I'm bringing this topic to you on Monday because the way your week will run depends on the attitude you bring up on Monday. And if you start from today, Monday, to be thankful, I bet you, you will not only be healed from whatever it is that is keeping you um, bound or that is giving you worries. You will be made whole. Those things will forever be taken care of. I challenge you this morning. Be thankful. Be thankful. Give thanks. That's the only thing that we owe God for whatever he's doing for us. To be thankful. God, when you wake up in the morning, Jesus, thank you for life. You drink water, thank you, Jesus, for this water. You eat bread, Jesus, thank you for this bread. Whatever you do, thank you for this. You have been praying, oh God, take away this sickness, and then the sickness is still there. Be thankful that you are even still alive. One preacher said, um, he was preaching to, to his congregation, and he said, in everything, give thanks. Why? Because it would have been worse than this. Ah, somebody said, Pastor, but I had an accident. Yeah, it would have been worse than this. What if you had died? Would you be telling me that you had an accident? <laughs> so you have to be thankful. Because it would have been worse than that thing that you think is bad. Be thankful. Be thankful. Cultivate the habit of being thankful in all circumstances. In all circumstances. Just be thankful. That is the message I have brought to you this morning. That you should be thankful in all circumstances. Oh, you are saying, Samos, you don't understand my situation. I understand. But what I am saying is, according to the scriptures, it is the will of God. And whatever is the will of God, God guards it generally. So if you are being thankful according to the will of God, come on. God will not overlook you. The situation or the challenge might be lingering or you might be thinking, oh, God is not here. But continuous thankfulness will draw God's jealousy to you. Be thankful this morning. That's what I have come to tell you. Be thankful. Because it is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. How did Jesus multiply the bread that he shared um, for the 5,000 people over 5,000 men. They didn't include women and children. He was thankful. He said, Father, I thank you because you always hear me. Bread multiplied. Fish multiplied. Just being thankful. At the tomb of Lazarus, he said, Father, I thank you. And then he called for Lazarus and Lazarus came back. That is the same power that you possess when you are thankful. When you are thanking God for that thing that you are believing in or to do for you, when you speak, because you have said, acknowledged him, because you have said, thank you, when you speak, that situation will honor you. Jesus only gave thanks. Every miracle he did when he was on earth, he gave thanks and then he spoke. She, Lord, I thank you because he will always hear me. He was an assured, you always hear me. So he was thankful. So whenever he speaks, circumstances obey. I dare you this morning. Be thankful to God that you are alive. Be thankful to God that you are listening to this broadcast right now. Be thankful to God that you are watching this broadcast live right now. You are watching a replay of it later. Be thankful. And I bet you, after saying thank you to God, the next thing you say to that your situation, you will see that heaven will press control do. <laughs> control do and it will be done unto you. I bet you, try this and send me your feedback on Facebook. Uh, send me your feedback on the comment section that ah, say, well, I tried it and it worked. And we will thank God together. And if you are listening to me or you are watching me right now and you have not made Jesus your Lord and your personal Savior, I challenge you this morning. Acknowledge the fact that you are a sinner and that you need help from Jesus. And it's going to be that right there to help you. Just say this little prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for making me to be a part of today's blessing. 
thank you for giving me the gift of life. I ask Jesus that you would become my Lord and my personal Savior this morning and give me the grace to serve you and serve you till you would come back to speak to take your people home. Be thou glorified, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. If you said this little prayer with me, congratulations because you are now one of the friends and family member of Jesus' family. Join any believing church around you and grow in grace and in the knowledge of God. And you will be glad that you took that decision. It's still Broad Street Radio, your number one business radio. And you may like to follow us on our Facebook page like our page and also share you can also share this uh, video to your friends and your relatives that you know that they need to hear this message be thankful yes you can also send us your comments and your um, request you can send us um, your comments on whatsapp on 0809 yes for those of you listening on our um on our uh, mobile app, you can follow us on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash Broad Street Radio NG. You can also follow us on Instagram at Broad Street Rad. And then on YouTube, you can watch our videos over and over again at www.youtube.com forward slash Broad Street Radio NG. And then our website is www.broadstreetradio.com. It's still Broad Street Radio, your number one business radio. I leave you with this song from Don Moen. He says, thank you, Lord. At 8 o'clock a.m., I'll be back for news updates. Don't go anywhere. God bless you for listening. Join me again tomorrow at 7.30 for Commanding the Morning, and you will be glad you joined. Do have a wonderful day.